Boldly thriving where few civilizations dared to venture, the Etruscans were the true masters of the Mediterranean. Nestled in the heart of central Italy, the Etruscan civilization flourished from the 8th to the 3rd century BCE, carving out a name for themselves as a formidable trading power in the Mediterranean world. If you're intrigued and want to dive deeper into such captivating pieces of history, consider subscribing to our channel. You'll be amazed by the treasure trove of facts we unravel. Now back to our story. Their land, rich in mineral resources, was a treasure trove that fueled their prosperity and allure. The Etruscans were no mere inhabitants of this land, they were its masters, harnessing its gifts and transforming them into a vibrant and thriving civilization. Their cities were independent city-states, bound together by a common language, religion and culture, but their reach extended far beyond their city walls. The Etruscans' influence touched many corners of the Mediterranean, their prosperous trade networks weaving a tapestry of interaction and exchange with other civilizations of their time. The Etruscans, though shrouded in mystery, were a beacon of prosperity and sophistication in ancient times. The Etruscan society was a vibrant tapestry, woven with threads of innovation and tradition. Emerging in central Italy around the 8th century BCE, the Etruscan civilization was a federation of independent city-states, each with its own ruler, but united by a common religion, language, and culture. The Etruscans were renowned for their rich mineral resources, and were a major Mediterranean trading power. The prosperity that trade brought was reflected in their society, a society marked by a high standard of living, elaborate feasts, and grand public spectacles. These city-states were autonomous, yet interlinked, creating a network of bustling markets and vibrant city life. The Etruscan social structure was complex and hierarchical with a ruling class of nobles and priests at the top. These elites held political and religious authority overseeing public affairs and rituals. Beneath them, the bulk of the population comprised artisans, farmers and traders who played a crucial role in the Etruscan economy. Etruscan daily life was deeply intertwined with their cultural practices and religious beliefs. They believed in an afterlife, and this belief shaped their practices from elaborate burial rites to the construction of ornate tombs. They also had a rich tradition of music, dance and sports, which were often part of religious ceremonies. The Etruscans were also known for their egalitarian views on gender. Women held a higher status in Etruscan society than in many other ancient civilizations. They could attend, and even participate in, various public events, and they were often depicted in art and literature as being on an equal footing with men, Innovation was another hallmark of the Etruscans. They were among the first in the Mediterranean to work iron, to build roads, and to construct sewage and drainage systems, setting standards for urban planning and public health that would later be adopted by the Romans. The Etruscans, with their vibrant society and innovative practices, were a testament to the richness of ancient Mediterranean civilization. Their legacy continues to intrigue and inspire us today, offering a glimpse into a world that was both remarkably sophisticated and strikingly different from our own. Etruscan art and architecture were a symphony of form and function, singing praises of their aesthetic sensibilities. In the heart of ancient Italy, the Etruscans etched their narrative into the fabric of time through their unique art style and architectural prowess. Their art was a vibrant tapestry of life and death, a testament to their belief in the afterlife. Their tombs, for instance, were not mere resting places for the deceased, but were intricately designed homes for the soul. These necropolises, cities of the dead, were adorned with frescoes that mirrored the Etruscans' daily life, their banquets, games and ceremonies, offering us a glimpse into their world beyond the veil of time. Their pottery too was a canvas for their storytelling. Be it the black figure or red figure vases, Etruscan pottery was a medley of mythological narratives and depictions of their social life. These vessels, often found in tombs, were not just everyday utensils but were symbolic offerings to the gods and the afterlife. Yet it was in architecture where the Etruscans truly pushed the boundaries of their artistic expression. Their temples, though few remain today, were architectural marvels of their time. Made of wood and mud brick these temples were a departure from the Greek counterparts, showcasing the Etruscans' distinctive style. The temples were raised on high podiums with a single staircase leading up to them, a feature later adopted by the Romans. They had three cellas or rooms each dedicated to a different deity, reflecting their polytheistic beliefs. The Etruscans were also pioneers in urban planning, their cities featuring a grid system and complex sewer networks, elements that would later influence Roman architecture. 
the remnants of their cities, their walls and gates, stand as silent witnesses to their architectural genius. In the realm of art and architecture, the Etruscans left an indelible mark, their echoes still resonating in our world today. In the realm of language, the Etruscans painted a picture as vivid as their art. Just as they did with their intricate pottery and awe-inspiring temples, the Etruscans left a unique mark in the sphere of language and writing. The Etruscan language, a distinct branch of the Tyrrhenian family of languages, was unlike any other in the ancient Mediterranean world. Their writing system, known as the Etruscan alphabet, was adopted from the Greek alphabet during the 8th century BCE. This was a period of significant cultural exchange as the Etruscans were active trading partners of the Greeks. While they adopted the Greek alphabet, they uniquely tailored it to fit their own language, adding a few characters of their own. The Etruscan language was used for a variety of purposes from recording historic events and religious rites to inscribing personal names on pottery and jewelry. The majority of surviving Etruscan texts are found on funerary steles, providing glimpses into their beliefs about the afterlife and their religious practices. Deciphering the Etruscan language has been a challenge for scholars for centuries. Unlike Latin or Greek, Etruscan does not have a direct descendant among modern languages, making translation a daunting task. The limited number of surviving texts, most of which are short inscriptions, only adds to the difficulty. Despite these challenges, scholars have been able to translate a significant portion of the Etruscan language, offering valuable insights into this unique civilization. The Etruscan language is a testament to the distinctiveness of the Etruscan civilization. It reflects their capacity for adaptation, their interaction with other cultures, and their unique worldview. While we may never fully decipher the Etruscan language, the fragments that we have been able to translate paint a vivid picture of a society that was as complex as it was unique. The Etruscan language, a testament to their unique identity, remains a tantalizing puzzle for scholars. The Romans, the mighty conquerors, were once pupils in the school of Etruscan culture. Imagine that. The Romans, who would go on to build an empire that would span continents, were once heavily influenced by the Etruscans, their predecessors. The Etruscans were not just a civilization that existed, they were a civilization that left a lasting imprint. Their cultural, religious, and technological contributions played a significant role in the early development of the Roman civilization. The Etruscans had a profound impact on Roman culture. Their gods and goddesses were adopted by the Romans, and Etruscan religious rituals and practices became integral parts of Roman life. The Romans adopted the Etruscan practice of augury, the interpretation of omens and signs, which became a staple of Roman religious life. In terms of technology, the Etruscans were known for their advanced engineering skills, particularly in the field of hydraulics. They built canals, drainage systems and bridges that were marvels of their time. The Romans, seeing the utility of these structures, incorporated the knowledge into their own, famously creating aqueducts and other marvels of ancient engineering. The influence of the Etruscans on Rome was not limited to religion and technology. The very structure of Roman society was influenced by the Etruscans. The concept of a republic, which would become the cornerstone of the Roman political system, has its roots in the Etruscan tradition of oligarchy. The Etruscans' practice of electing leaders from among the noble class was adopted by the Romans, leading to the formation of the Roman Republic. In addition, the Romans adopted the Etruscan military tactics, including the formation of the phalanx, which made the Roman army a formidable force. The Etruscan influence on Roman military tactics cannot be overstated. It helped shape the Roman legions that would eventually conquer most of the known world. The Etruscan civilization, though lost to the sands of time, lives on in the foundations of Rome, a testament to their enduring influence. Indeed, the Etruscans may have been absorbed into the Roman Empire, but their legacy continues to echo through the centuries, shaping the world as we know it today. The Etruscans, a civilization lost to time, left a legacy as profound as it is intriguing. These ancient people, who thrived in central Italy from the 8th to 3rd century BCE, were a major Mediterranean trading power, known for their rich mineral resources. Their culture deeply influenced by the Greeks and Near East was unique and vibrant, as evident in their distinctive art style and architectural achievements. From intricate pottery to the famous Etruscan temples, they were masters of their craft, their social structure and daily life were as fascinating as their art. Independent city-states bound by a common religion, language and culture, they governed themselves through an evolved system that transitioned from monarchy to oligarchy, 
Their language despite its uniqueness and the challenges in deciphering it, left an indelible mark on history. But perhaps the most significant aspect of the Etruscan legacy, is their impact on Rome. As the Romans gradually conquered the Etruscans, they assimilated many aspects of Etruscan culture, religion and technology, significantly influencing the early development of the Roman civilization. The Etruscans, a civilization that thrived in the shadows of history, continue to captivate us with their enduring mystery and profound legacy.